Okay, let's continue on here. So, in this problem, we're going to be using our ideal gas equation of state to help us solve a problem. So what's the problem? Well, I have a spherical balloon, that's going to be helpful, with a diameter of 9 meters. It's filled with helium, okay, helium, ooh, at 28.5 degrees Celsius and 200 kilopascals. It says determine the mole number and the mass of the helium in the balloon. And the universal gas constant is going to be 8.314 kilopascals meter cubed per kilomole kelvin and the mole mass of the helium is four kilograms per kilomole okay we got a lot of information here so let's walk parse through as much as we can so first off we have to assume that helium is an ideal gas otherwise we can't really solve this problem and so if it's an ideal gas we can use pv equals rt to solve for the mole number and the mass of the helium in the balloon okay that's not too bad so far Next thing is, well, we know our specific volume is equal to our volume over our mass, and our specific gas constant is equal to our um, universal gas constant over the molar mass. If I wanted to, I could go ahead and calculate those to plug it into my equations. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make one equation so I can just plug it all in and get my answer. So if I want to find the mass, I can write something like this. This is just me plugging all my equations in here. So I plugged this in for here i plugged this in for here and then i solve for mass you can do it a bunch of steps i sometimes like to give one equation because it's fun now if i plug that in what i'll get is that i have oh sorry i don't actually know enough yet because if we look back at it i don't know my volume yet do i everything else was given in the problem statement the volume was not but it told me it was a spherical balloon so let's go ahead and calculate that volume so the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. As a note, it gave the diameter, so we have to divide that by 2. That's why I have 4 and a half right here. And so I have 381.7 meters cubed. Now I know everything now, and so I can finally calculate the mass, which comes out to be 121.8 kilograms. Now the second thing it asked was, what's the mole number um, of the helium in the balloon? I don't believe I actually put that in this slide, so I'm going to go ahead and do it by hand. So first off, we know that, uh, let's make sure I do this right. Yes, molar mass is equal to mass divided by number of moles. Um, and so if I want to solve for the number of moles, I just rearrange. I get that my number of moles is going to be equal to my mass divided by my molar mass. So it's going to be equal to 121.8 divided by 4. And so from that, I get, let's see, 30.45 kilomoles of helium in this problem. There we go. That's it. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.